Are you ready for round two? Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad, and here it comes. Now, unlike yesterday's broadcast, it looks like those of you who had a lot of heavy rain over this last system may have a chance for some heavy snow. Well, the system now it looks like it's starting to move its way a little bit further north. So the bottom line is those of you who got pounded with heavy snow over the last couple of days, it looks like you will get pounded again. And those of you who had a lot of rain, looks like you're going to get a lot more rain out of this next system. So let's get started. This is for Thursday night. And once again, we're starting to see snow break out right where we had it initially the last couple of days. And that's in Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Iowa. You just can't get a break. You had well over a foot of snow in some areas, blizzard-like conditions. And it looks like that's going to be the case once again. Again, there's Lake Michigan, there's Chicago, there's Ohio, Indiana, and the Gulf of Mexico. By Friday morning, this thing is really now starting to tap a lot of Gulf of Mexico moisture, helping to fuel this system. And on the back side, Arctic air streaming straight out of the Arctic Circle. And we're talking extreme cold air that's going to help this system really explode over the next couple of days. Okay, there's Indiana, there's Lake Michigan, here's the Gulf of Mexico once again. We're possibly looking at severe weather again in Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi as we work our way into the day on Friday and also on Saturday as it moves towards the northeast. Blizzard-like conditions in this blue area and you're probably looking at a good another foot of snow, if not even more, out of this system. By Friday night, this low itself parks itself just south of Chicago. If that happens, those of you in the Windy City, you're looking like lizard-like conditions during the day on Friday, certainly for the Wolverine State and portions of Wisconsin and also Minnesota and Iowa. And you can see these dark black lines compact. That's wind intensity. In fact, I think the winds on this system will be stronger than the winds we had in the last system. So we possibly looking at some power outages throughout most of the northern plains and the midwest and even up towards the northeast these dark blue lines you see them there well they're being pushed down all the way down into the southeast and you're going to see some freezing temperatures as well by uh, saturday morning we see that system now up right around detroit snow showers behind it a lot of lake effect snows compounding already heavy snowfall for those of you up in michigan and uh, we're going to see temperatures plummeting. I mean, absolutely dropping off the cliff on, on our Saturday. And uh, temperatures, this gives you some perspective here. Up in the north, the, uh, north and South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, your high temperatures will probably stay below zero on today on Saturday. And those of us right here in Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, and Indiana, you may see temperature highs only in the single digits. And also because of all that snow cover, this air is not going to modify some, uh, not going to modify a lot at all. So what's ever coming down will get us all over the weekend. Now speaking of the weekend, you see this area of snow out in the Rockies, and we've got another bit of energy working its way into the uh, West Coast. But this is the area, another bit of energy that's going to be coming in for the day on Sunday. Okay, this is Sunday morning. This map should verify Sunday morning. Now, what I want to show you here is that you see this 534 line? Okay, right here is a line called 540 line. Uh, anything below this line, if it's going to have some precipitation, most likely it's going to be in a liquid form, rain. Anything north of this 540 line should fall in the form of snow. So you see where it's parking itself. This is uh, right around Memphis. This is uh, Arkansas. This is Tennessee. There's Lake Michigan. So as this system now, energy, pulls out of the Rockies, there's going to be enough moisture around for snow to break out in the Ohio Valley and potentially as far south as the Tennessee Valley for our Sunday. This is Sunday morning. This area will be streaming basically east and a little bit towards the southeast. So those of us who haven't had snow in a long time, well, it looks like Sunday, Sunday night, it looks like we'll get a pretty good shot at that time. But I'll be back tomorrow morning with another update on this system as well as the approaching one for the upcoming weekend. Until then, I'm George, the Weather Dad.